we're going to talk about everyday actions that can get you arrested according to the critics of Trump. Welcome to Ray Dog's Random Thoughts. Ray Sean Blyden here, politicalbombshow.com, raydog.com. I've been purposely staying away from this sham of indictment after indictment after indictment, but push a person too fo- so far and they just have to come out firing. It's like they say, even the the cowardice of a mutt of a dog if backed into a corner will come out viciously swinging if they have nowhere else to go and it's just ridiculous because Travis and David I hate to keep bringing their name up it's just that their names are fresh in my mind you know because I spent the last week with them um their argument about these indictments being fair and just and when I brought in some of the things that they said I said do you not know someone named Joe Biden and they say oh it's not the same thing when it comes to classified documents I mean it's just ridiculous their their arguments made no sense but nonetheless let's uh let's talk about this this is just really I tried to point out to them can't you see that the timing of this is absolutely political and they want to knock Trump out of the election? But no, they don't see it that way. Oh no, it's because of a statute of limitation, Mr. David said. Okay. All right. Let's read on. Let's read on, shall we? Here are some of the everyday actions that could get you arrested, according to critics of latest Trump indictment. I haven't forgotten about you either, Denise. There, the finer points of former President Donald Trump's latest indictment appear to go a long way to make even being alive seem criminal to support the conspiracy allegation. Tweeting or Xing, whatever you want to call it, getting a phone call, let's repeat, tweeting or Xing, getting a phone number, and even telling people to watch TV were among the actions detailed to pad the first count against Trump and his 18 co defendants with 161 acts. One social media thread on Monday's indictment from Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney Fanny Pack Willis couldn't help but notice the heavy lifting looked to be doing labeling things an overt act in the conspiracy. A threat on X from Greg Price highlighting quite a few things now illegal based on the alleged criminal racketeering enterprise the president had taken part in to supposedly overturn Georgia's presidential election result. Asking people for phone numbers, reserving rooms in a Capitol building, telling people to watch TV, and getting people to attend legislative hearings summarize one set of acts that included on or about the third day of December 2020 Donald John Trump calls 
to be tweeted from the Twitter account at real Donald Trump Georgia Herons now on at O A N N amazing this is an overt act in furtherance of the conspiracy things things that are now illegal according to Georgia indictment what are those things you may ask okay well I will tell you David and Travis and Denise asking people for phone numbers reserving rooms in a Capitol building telling people to watch TV getting people to attend legislative hearings Wow well 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 I guess those things are very bad in continuing the thread price laid appointed to hold in meetings as seemingly now illegal as the indictment pointed to a meeting Trump was said to have had in December 2020 with Speaker of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives Brian Coulter in the Oval Office at the White House and discussed holding a special session of the Pennsylvania General Assembly well 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 more things that are now illegal according to the indictment holding meetings calling people asking people to call special sessions of legislators setting up phone calls oh wow and then libs of TikTok she might have to change her name to libs of X wait no never mind it could be TikTok. Um, lives of TikTok from X in or X. It's gonna get me. It's gonna be quite a while for me to get used to calling Twitter X. I'm so used to it being Twitter. But piled on to the indictment, reiterating Price's point and adding to things that are apparently illegal in America reserving rooms for meeting asking someone for a phone call what a sham what a sham indeed while many attempted to slam the threads as missing the final point that it wasn't any act itself that was illegal but doing so allegedly in furtherance of the conspiracy what detractors hadn't grasped was the broader implications of the indictment and as previously reported two speakers from the nonprofit descendant project joined Fox and Friends weekend Sunday to discuss their experiences having fled authoritarian regimes in Venezuela and Iran. In so doing, they pointed out how the indictments against Trump appeared to be setting a dangerous president and furthered a two tired or two tier justice system. Of course it does. Of course it does. Attorney Jenna Ellis, named as co-defendant on the indictment, posted along those lines Thursday. <laughs> I mean, what much, what else can you say about this? It's just pure nonsense. And people who can't see that, I mean, what's good for the goose is good for the gander and the gander is not getting any legal actions taken against them because if you didn't vote for me you're not black right biden right leave a like share and subscribe 
Don't forget to visit politicalbombshow.com. Help support us so we can up our game. I can only produce with the equipment that I can afford. And so, this, uh, you know, I, I'm good at working with what little stuff I have. I've just always been good at taking a dollar and stretching it to, to $10. It's just how I had to be being poor growing up. So, by all means, politicalbombshow.com, click on support us or get one of our merch or even raydog.com if you don't want to go to the political site. And the same applies there. And I will see you in the next one.